Hi, this is Alex from PHP Academy, and in this tutorial, we're going to be uh, learning how to load content into your page. Um, so, essentially, loading uh, link um, content from a navigation um, without refreshing the page. So, we're going to be using Ajax to do this, and we're going to use, be using an extremely simplified way of doing this uh, using jQuery. So, it's probably easier than you think already to actually uh, do this. Um, so if you don't have any uh, knowledge about jQuery, go ahead and take a look at that. We, we're going to be looking at the site in just a moment and how to uh, download and use jQuery. Um, but first of all, we're going to go ahead and build a page, um, get it how we want it to look. Uh, we're going to be filling in all these pages here. Uh, it's not complicated whatsoever. Um, so let me just go uh, ahead and explain what pages we're going to be using. Uh, the first is index.php, which is obviously going to be our landing page. Um, we're going to be using about, contact and index.php, let's just put them in order, so um, index, about and contact, they're just going to be content pages, so these are going to be the pages that we're going to be loading in. Uh, we're going to be using styles.css uh, which is obviously a style sheet, that's just going to be to style the menu, uh, that's not really important, uh, it's only just because it's going to look a bit, a bit silly if we don't. Uh, and we've got general.js which is going to handle our JavaScript um, and we're going to be using the jQuery JavaScript library. Uh, so let's go ahead to index.php um, and start to write our page out. Now at the moment you can see that there is nothing on the page. Uh, I've got jQuery.com open so if you want to go ahead and navigate over to jQuery.com uh, we're going to be downloading jQuery, jQuery or at least using the URL from jQuery uh, to make use of the library. So inside our text editor I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set a doc type to this and just uh, essentially create a page as we normally would so I'm going to have a head in there and a body and we'll give it a nice title as well uh, we'll just say our website uh, so up here we're going to be including the style sheet just here so the style sheet will go here uh, and down here just before the ending of the body we're going to be including our scripts as well so we're not going to be including scripts in the head of our page uh, let's go ahead and just include our style sheet. So link rel equals style sheet sheet, and then um, we need an href, and that will just link to that. Now the ending tag isn't required with HTML5, so you don't need to put that in. Uh, but I always uh, end up doing it. Uh, so the href is going to be css forward slash styles dot css. Uh, let's just take a look at our directory structure. Uh, obviously, it's uh, going to look a bit different um, in our text editor. We need to know sort of where everything's going. Uh, Index.php again is our landing page. That's the page we're working on at the moment. JS is where uh, general.js is going to go. You can actually see the directory um, uh, path up here as I'm clicking on each file. So if that helps. CSS is where styles.css is going to go, as you can see we've just included it in that folder. And we've got content where our three uh, content files are going to be going. So CSS is holding our styles, JS is holding our JavaScript, and content is holding our three content pages. So it makes it a lot easier for us to find everything uh, instead of lumping it all in the root directory. Okay, so we've included our style sheet. Um, now inside of our body, uh, that's a slightly different, let's just go ahead and include uh, general.js and uh, jQuery as well. Uh, in fact, let's go ahead and build the menu and the content area first. So we're going to create an unordered list for our menu. This is uh, quite good practice to get into. So we're going to create an unordered list and then have list elements. Um, uh, we're going to have list um, elements in the middle. So we'll create three of these. One is for home, which is the index page here, our index content page. Uh, one's for about and one is for contact. So let's just pop them in, home, uh, about us, and contact. Okay, so UL we're going to give an ID to, and this is going to be nav, so we can use styles to uh, style this up. Let's just go take a look at how that looks in our browser first of all, now and refresh, you can see it looks like this. I literally just want them all in one row, uh, so let's quickly go over to our styles, we'll not focus on this too much, uh, and we'll say UL hash nav, because we've called our um, nav just nav, and I'm going to say list style none, I'm going to say padding zero, I'm going to say margin, uh, I'm going to create a north, east, south and west, so this is north uh, margin, 
uh, east, south and west. South I will just want 10 pixels because I don't want too much space between uh, the content um, and the uh, menu itself. Uh, and then for each, well we'll just take a look at what that's done. You see that's just got rid of our bullet points and uh, we've got a margin. If we just take a quick look, we've got a margin at the bottom. You can see that yellow area of 10 pixels, uh, which just gives us enough space to uh, sort of space out the content. Um, now what we want them to do is all be displayed in line. So I'm going to say ul hash uh, nav li. So we're styling the li's in between and we want to say display in line. Um, and refresh and you can see that they're all in line now uh, we can go ahead and give them a margin now I could say margin right but I'm just going to do uh, it like this I prefer to do it like this in case we need to add any uh, margin in uh, later uh, I'm going to say margin uh, in fact let's just use right it's probably more accepted to do margin right if we're only styling one margin so margin right we'll just say 10 pixels and you can see that will just space them out a bit. So that's all we're going to talk about with regards to CSS. So we can close that now. We don't need to do any more styling. Now underneath our menu item uh, or our unordered list menu, we're going to create a div with an ID of content. And this is where our content is going to be displayed in here. So essentially we're going to end up with something like, uh, just say header and then content. Uh, so we're going to end up with something like this and when we click each item here we're going to change this content without obviously reloading the page uh, but for now we don't actually need anything in here because what we can do is we can use Ajax to load the initial page and then load subsequent pages on top of that by just clicking uh, each, me uh, each uh, menu item so obviously these need to be linked so let's just pop some link uh, some A tags around them annoying repetitive process I guess I could have duplicated the lines but there we go um, so I'm going to do something quite weird now and you're going to find out why I've done that in a moment I'm going to type href equals oh, href equals index just there I'm going to type uh, href equals about there and href equals contact there um, now at the moment that would just link to uh, you know a file called index with no extension uh, so it seems quite odd but you will see in a moment why we've done that uh, obviously what we want here is we've got our links but we don't have any content as soon as we uh, the page loads we want the first page the initial page to load in there uh, so let's go ahead and do that we need to do that from general.js the first thing we need to do is include jQuery because that's going to allow us to use the jQuery library the second of all then we're going to include general.js um, let's go ahead and just populate index about and content with some content first so we can sort of practice loading them in so I'm going to create a, a header and this is just going to say home uh, and we'll have a paragraph underneath welcome to our website okay we can close that forget about that uh, same with uh, about we'll create a header and we'll just say about us and then we'll say uh, just this is our official website just pop any old uh, rubbish in there and we'll have another h1 uh, for this contact and then we will say call us on 01234567899 so really nothing there uh, new uh, nothing to be learned there okay so the first thing we want to do is load in this index page so under here we'll go in and include our scripts uh, we don't need a type in HTML5 uh, so we'll say script source equals something and remember to end a script tag now what you what we want to load first is jQuery we want to load the jQuery library so let's go ahead and click on download jQuery and we're actually going to copy this URL here and we're going to go ahead and paste it into the source so we're using external um, include which is absolutely fine uh, I wouldn't recommend this normally keep the file on your server just in case the jQuery site goes down you never know uh, as long as uh, you've always got access to that file uh, that's what's important uh, the next thing we're going to say script source equals and we're going to include our JS file which is in our JS folder and it's general.js so we're going to go ahead and just test that let's just put an alert in there and say working um, and let's go close jQuery website off now refresh and we get a page uh, uh, alert saying working so everything is working uh, we're assuming jQuery is working we don't actually know yet 
but let's go ahead and uh, get on with the rest of the tutorial. So we have this div here called content. Uh, it's got an ID of content, so we're going to be using a hash to reference it. And the first thing we want to do is load our index.php file uh, from uh, our content folder. So let's go into general.js uh, and we'll use a jQuery selector to select a document and we want to wait for the event handler ready so we want to wait for the uh, document to be available to start um, manipulating uh, then we're just going to go ahead and we're going to say uh, and select uh, the content area so content.div now we're going to be using the jQuery function load uh, which is essentially an extremely easy and lightweight way of just including a file into a particular area so we'll just load it in uh, that's literally all that's required uh, so go over to jQuery documentation if you read, want to read up more about this you can use ajax uh, .ajax to load um, files in uh, and there's a bit more advanced error handling there but this should be this should sort of suffice to, for smaller sites that don't need uh, any you know advanced error handling for that because uh, obviously you're going to want to do something if the file's not available and blah 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 so we're going to load in content forward slash index.php okay so quite straightforward let's go ahead and refresh you can see that that index file that we created earlier has been loaded in we've got our header and then we've got our paragraph here so quite cool we've already used ajax now to load it in using the uh, jquery load function but now what we want to do uh, we'll just comment this we'll say uh, initial now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and handle clicks so handle menu clicks uh, so our menu we need to use a jquery selector to see when one of these links is clicked now what we're going to be doing is what when one of these links is clicked we're going to be taking this uh, uh, name here and we're going to be appending .php on and then including it from the contents folder so that means that when you want to go ahead and add a new menu item you can just duplicate this down oh not get rid of the existing one you can just duplicate this down and then when you have a new section you can just go ahead and change this and create a file so you don't need to faff around with individual selectors for each menu item you can just pop it in the href and we'll uh, load that in and we'll prevent the default action which would be to go to this file called index about or content uh, contact sorry so inside general.js we need to use our selector our div is called or our, sorry our ul is called nav so we need to use that selector then we're going to traverse um, or select down to li and then a and then we append a click handler on so uh, makes more sense when it's written so let's go ahead and do that so we want to say ul hash nav li a so when an a link inside an li inside this ul called nav is clicked so dot click we're going to perform a function or carry out everything inside here and that is going to be first to alert um, OK okay just so we know that it works so let's go ahead and refresh when I click we get this alert OK uh, and then it goes to this about file here which doesn't exist obviously when I click contact we get the same thing here uh, blah 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 so let's go ahead and actually make it work now I'm going to create a variable and I'm going to call this page and that's going to be equal to and we're going to use the this selector meaning what we've currently got selected which will be our a so this and then we're going to uh, select the attribute href which will give us this value so we're going to say attribute href which will give us index about or content depending on which one's clicked and doing it this way means we don't have to create a selector for each individual link meaning that again like I said when we add more uh, a tags on we don't need to do anything it will just automatically work so this dot attribute and inside here we need to specify the attribute which is href now I'm going to go ahead and alert page just so we can see it working in steps uh, I click about it comes up about and I click uh, let's go back contact and it comes up contact uh, the same with home as well but I'm guess uh, I'm guessing you guessed that uh, so now let's go ahead and actually make this work uh, we want to do the same as we did up here but we want to load in the page that's been clicked so again we say hash content dot load and then inside here we want to say content forward slash and it will be x uh, where the page is going we'll add that in in a moment dot uh, php so x we need to substitute now for the page that's been clicked so let's just append on using pluses so uh, obviously we're working in javascript not php which would be a dot 
um, and in here we'll just write page okay so quite simple let's go and refresh let's click about us oh okay so <laughs> we've got the functionality there but what we need to do is we need to prevent the default action uh, that um, you know would normally happen so when you click on a link the href would be uh, located to so what we need to do is we need to say return false and what this will do is it will mean that it won't carry out the default action uh, it will carry out everything that we have inside of this function uh, so let's go ahead and refresh and click about us contact home and there we go so now we've created um, a, a link list which can be easily added to uh, the loads content in dynamically uh, or you know easily using Ajax uh, in jQuery.